here. Now prepare to die, mortal. against my minions. Only death awaits you here. You will never leave here alive. Take that if you still have a chance. You dare to interfere in the affairs of the gods, you puny weakling? A slut. Now pay with your life. Resist shock. Resist cold shock. Fire. I will suck the flesh and bones of your children and decorate my shrine with their skulls. This is just ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> 
slots lackey. My sister chose well. You have proved worthy of my respect, mortal. Before you strike the stone with Azura's bane, sheath your swords and listen to the words of Malakav. No, I don't get a choice. for a millennia just for this moment to come. The rightful God King of all of Tamriel reborn from the ashes from the devoured remains of a vengeful witch. A spurred monster cast into the far reaches of the void, the living abomination of spite itself. You would now cast me down and thwart my rightful destiny? Uh... Destiny comes at too high a price. Is the life of a mortal girl so greater a thing to cherish than the restoration of Tamriel? I made a promise. Strike the stone and a millennia will be undone at your hand. I pity the cruel fate bestowed upon you, but it ends here. But know this. There will be another time, another millennia, another sacrifice. If not now, then tomorrow. The invasion is about to begin, and nothing can stop it now. Let them come. Hold your sword, and I promise to you will be a long life and glorious old age. I give you my word. <laughs> you dare to fire God! Okay, I lost the sword. Doing that, right. Okay. Uh. Obviously, this uh, fool has never right. encountered a drow before. It'll be their last. The Kony made it back. I've seen more combat skill from a doorknob. Where's the curve with it? You are weak, and soon you shall be dead.
Hey guys, who you fighting? Alright. That was a cane you should be wearing. I have been thinking about us, my Maranta sins. Perhaps thinking too much. Dwelling on such things leads only to headaches and confusion. That's also a part of love. Apparently. I suppose you are right. It is rather annoying, but I find myself enjoying the thought of you inside my head. I think you want to make love. I think you're right. Untold pleasures await you. In what skimpy outfit will you have me wear this time? This one. Very well, my Madondesens. Alright. Something the matter? Rigmar okay? She's asleep. Sorella is with her. She doesn't remember a thing, Dragonborn. I think we had better talk. <sighs> Good to see you again. Be careful out there. You okay? She's spoken about what happened. When Cassius and Ingle brought her here, she was still out. We put her to bed, but she awoke in panic. She didn't know what was going on. We asked her about what happened, but she doesn't remember. Ingval and Cassius gone already? Yes. Ingol and Cassius said they will visit soon, and to keep us informed if something should happen. What happened out there, Dragonborn? Tidings. I destroyed the portal gate and rescued Rigmar like a said I would. Did you discover who this entity was? Malakath, hoping to return, reborn as Trinamac. By the gods, how did you manage to thwart him? Destroyed the sigil stone with Azura's bane like Boethia told me to. They could make another portal. The new order must be defeated on ground here. I will travel to Cyrodiil and make preparations, inform my contacts. Meanwhile, Rigmor needs to recover. At this rate, I'll just have to sell the old place. Angie, we must stay together. The New Order are still a force to be reckoned with. Gah! <laughs> Something the matter? 
She doesn't remember a thing. Could be just exhaustion. It's too early to tell. Once she has had a good rest, we can talk to her. <clears throat> yeah. Talk about what? Is everyone talking about me behind my back? Rigmore! No, we just thought... We? Who's we? Rigmore, the Guardian. Guardian? Pfft. I don't see no Guardian. Something the matter? Oh my god, Kerwinen. Get off the stairs. I'm right behind you. Um... Alright. What is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Anything else? Hello, Rigmore. I got you home. Bring me home? This isn't my home. It's just a part of the nightmare. <laughs> so get out of my face! Ugh. I don't even know you. <coughs> Dragonborn, I'm sorry. She... Why don't you rest a while? You must be exhausted. Well met. Oh my god. Follow me. Let's get going. Yes? How is she? She calmed down? Yes, I think so. She's sitting on the porch. Go and speak to her. Today? Yeah, I think so. I'm sorry about you now. It's fine, don't worry about it. Mom says you came for me. That you were my guardian? You're safe now, that's all that matters. Will they come for me again? Not if they know what's good for them. What did they want with me? Let's just say you're very special. Guardian, I keep having this dream. Dream? Mm-hmm. There's a little girl. I can hear her crying. She's all alone, in the dark. I can't see her. So I follow the sound of her sobbing. 
I find her. She has her back to me. And I approach, and she wants me to hold her hand. I take it, and then she leads me to a battlefield. The sky is black, and rain is pouring down. There's a terrible storm, but she keeps pulling me forward. I don't want to follow her. I'm scared. And I let go of her hand and wake up every time. You recognize her? No. She wants to show me something. But I let go every time because I'm afraid. You've been through a lot. But I am having trouble remembering things. Everything is vague. I can't even remember my past. Before, when I was a little girl, all that is gone. Have you spoken to your mother or Bar and Dar about this? I am finding it hard to connect with them. No matter how much I know I love them in my heart, I feel something is wrong, and I feel guilty, but I don't know why. All we have to connect us is this uncertainty. Uh, I don't know. And me? Comfortable. Protected. Safe, I guess. Right now, I think I need that. A guardian. Dragonborn? I... I'm sorry. I guess I am about to rediscover a lot of things, right? I think I'll go take a walk. Try to clear my head. Anything, yes, sir. Are you coming back? She does know who we are, doesn't she? Well met. Greetings. What is it? Yeah, she knows you're her mama, and she also knows that she loves you both. So it must be just a temporary thing, like Baren says. Maybe she needs to jog her memory. It's gonna take time. What about you, Dragonborn? Does she remember who you are? Vaguely. She's reluctant to go back. It hasn't been easy for her. Thank the god she's at least alive and well. Why don't you take Rigmor and revisit some places you have been? She would probably recognize it could help with her recovery. Uh. Greetings. That might work. She also wanted to visit the College of Winterhold. Excellent idea. By the way, your wanted status is revoked by the Empire. You'll both be free to proceed how you wish. Take care, Dragonborn. What is it? <laughs> take good care of her, Sigan. Why don't you take her this hunting clothing for the journey? Also, give her this sword, if she will take it. Good idea, Sir. She fears about traveling. We'll be here waiting.
Hey, Guardian. You checking up on me already? Can I join you? Uh-huh. I love it here. By the lake. It fills me with a wonderful sense of... of... freedom. We've been here before, haven't we? You and I... together, I mean. The other side of it, yeah. A little further up near Rifton. I wish I could remember what's been going on. It's kind of really weird. It's like Angie and Sorella. I feel like I've known them all my life, but I just don't recall any of the moments. Like a book with nothing on the pages. Baron says revisiting places you've been could help, you know? Hey, I would like that. I could visit the College of Winterhold too, if you wanted to go there. Can we take the horses? Let's take You know, I wanted a ride when earlier, but Angie wouldn't allow it. I said it was too dangerous on my own and I wasn't dressed away. Oh yeah, we got some. Okay, where is she now? Take this Huntress gear, we'll head out right away. Okay. How do I look? Great. And this sword? I... I can't. It's for your own protection, you'll need it. No. No. I'm sorry. I'm just not ready for that. Please. Okay. I'll look out for you. Guardian? Uh, you know when I said I felt like I knew everyone all my life, but just don't recall any of the moments? Well, it's the same with you. That other time I said I didn't know you. I don't know why I said that. I was just angry at myself, I guess. No need to explain. I feel safe with you. I want to remember. I do. Really. So, you just do what you gotta do. And I'll follow, okay? Alright. There's a camp not far from here. You picked flowers there once. Really? That's so cute. Let's go. I don't suppose Rigmore's gonna ride her horse. No, oh, yes she is. Good Lord, didn't anybody here subscribe?